So average rate of change is a fancy way of asking you to find the slope. And we know how to find the slope of lines, but we don't know how to find the slope of curves yet. So uh, we're going to draw secant lines. So the, the average rate of change is the slope of the secant line. So if I'm going from x, this is x is 0 to x is 3. So when x is 0, I'm here. And when x is 3, I'm up here. So the secant line between those two points approximates how much this function is changing. Uh, yeah, how much the rate at which this function is going up, right? And so I just need to find the slope of that line. So they're going to give you this formula. I remember I was always scared of this formula when I was first taking calc. But it's the same as your y2 minus your y1 over your x2 minus your x1, which is your change in y over your change in x, right? So how much are you going up versus how much are you going over? So all I need to do is count. They've got it graphed, right? I went to get from this point to that point. I went up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and over 1, 2, 3. So your slope is 6 over 3 is 2. Check, right? So there's tons of ways to do this when you have it graphed. I, I could just count up and over like I did. Done. I could get those ordered pairs, right, when x is 0. Uh, I want the ordered pairs 0 and 3, right? So when x is 0, the y is 1. When x is 3, the y is 7. And then I would just do my uh, slope is my change in y. It looks like I went up 6. And my change in x, I went up 3. So, 2, right? You could also, once you have those ordered pairs, do the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is 6 over 3 is 2, right? Um, yeah, killing it. Uh, and then this formula is f of b minus f of a over b minus a, right? Because this is just like f of x. So f of b would have been f of 3 which would have been 3 squared minus 3 plus 1 is 9 minus 3 plus 1 is 7, just like we knew it was, right, from looking at the graph. And then f of a, this is, this is a and b here, should have mentioned that. So a is 0, so this is 0 squared minus 0 plus 1 is 1, just like we knew it would be, right? So these are... Uh, f of b minus f of a over b minus a becomes that. Sorry, couldn't read that. And so that's uh, 7 minus 1 over 3 minus 0 is 6 over 3 is 2. Yet again, right? So these, those, that fancy notation just kind of stands for finding ordered pairs. When x is 3, the y value is 7. When x is 0, the y value is 1. Finding the slope between those two points. That's all you're doing for these average rate of change. However you want to think about it, it's good.